it takes. I went to this law school. Prague, I can't be like you. I can't be like that lawyer. No, stop talking yourself out of it. Talk yourself into it. Second category of people, the waiting crew. Oh, you know, Prague, as soon as I finish that case, that's when I'm going to go do it. You know, as soon as those kids get out of the house, you know, I'm getting right on it. You know, as soon as I get out of this debt, pay these loans. No, stop talking yourself out of it. Talk yourself into it. And the third category of people, people that think it's just silly. Oh, that's not important enough. I'm this high-powered lawyer. I can't give all that up and now just teach yoga, open up a juice bar. What will people, what will people think of me? Yeah, well, stop talking yourself out of it and start talking yourself into it. And I can tell you, it's not hard. I mean, it is hard. It's not easy. It's easy to strive for success. You just go from expectation to expectation until it's never ending. But striving for fulfillment, now that's very hard. You know, many of you all of the South Asian community know that there's expectations that you should marry within your culture, become a doctor. And you hear that. Well, I got my white woman right there. <laughs> and the way that happened, and the way that happened is I talked myself into it. I didn't talk myself out of it. And now 13 years later, I'm as miserable as every other man. <laughs> and when I came to Atlanta and started practicing, at the age of 26, I decided to write these little pocketbooks that Judge Law talked about. And people came up to me and said, Parag, you're too young. You shouldn't write those things. No one's going to buy it. Who are you? Are you a judge? Well, yeah, ha ha, no. I <laughs> <laughs> those things. And I could have easily talked myself out of it, but I talked myself into it. When I decided to open my own practice, people come to me, Parag, there's something to be said about having a steady paycheck. How are you going to get cases? How are you going to support yourself? I could have talked myself out of it but I talked myself into it. Becoming a city of Atlanta Municipal Court judge. Why do you want to be a judge, especially in the city of Atlanta? Why do you want to do that? What about your practice? I could have talked myself out of it, but I talked myself into it. So the question is, what are you talking yourself out of? And can you talk yourself into it? Because I can tell you, every time I've talked myself into it, I feel great. <laughs> I feel fulfilled. I feel happy. And every time I try to strive for success, I always ended up hearing my dad's voice saying, you'll always want more. It's never enough. And it's true. So this is what I want from everyone. This is what I want everybody to do. Okay? If you are one of those three categories that I mentioned, then tonight, before you go to bed, I want you to take two minutes. 120 seconds, two minutes. I want you to go in the bathroom, the closet, wherever you want to go. And I want you to take a minute, and I want you to listen to your gut. I want you to really, really listen to it. What is it telling you to get into? Then I want you to lay your head down on the pillow. I want you to close your eyes. And I want you to envision your life doing that. And I want you to have a dream tonight about what that was and how your life was so awesome, how happy you were, all the great things that happened from getting into it. And then when you wake up tomorrow morning, I want you to open your eyes, and I want you to tell yourself, we getting in something today. <laughs> <laughs> we getting in something today. All right? Thank you all for this. I really appreciate it.